The Apollo lunar sample return container, or moon box, made six trips, the Apollo 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17. In those six missions, these boxes brought back 842 pounds of material from the lunar surface. That material is still being used today in research centers around the world. Very valuable research information being gained from it. All brought back in boxes made at Y-12. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It has been 40 years since the Apollo 11 astronauts became the first humans to walk on the moon. This giant leap for mankind would capture the imagination of the entire planet. It would also provide a vital resource for scientific discovery. The moon's surface was a mystery, its soil untested. The astronauts' mission, gather rocks and other lunar materials for study back on Earth. The challenge for NASA scientists, how to safeguard this precious cargo on its journey home. Extreme temperatures of heat and cold could corrupt the material, contaminating the samples the astronauts had gathered. The vibration of the spacecraft could also damage the moon rocks. Upon its return, the lunar substances would need to be kept in a vacuum, protecting them from biological contamination found in Earth's atmosphere. For the mission to succeed, a sturdy container of remarkable craftsmanship would have to be created. For the answer to this dilemma, NASA turned to the team at Y-12 in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Known for its innovation and craftsmanship, Y-12 brought all its resources to bear on the challenge of creating the container. NASA provided Y-12 with over 200 pages of specifications for the box, Special facilities and tools were built for its construction. A quality assurance program was put in place specifically for the project. Y-12's best engineers and machinists came together to create a marvel of the space age. The vessel for the lunar materials was officially called the Apollo Lunar Sample Return Container. The moon box, as it came to be known, was built to withstand the rigors of space travel. Machined from a solid piece of aluminum, the box was seamless, with the exception of the lid. Where the lid met the bottom half of the container, a triple metal seal was used to preserve the vacuum of space. Four metal straps secured the lid, protecting the valuable cargo inside. NASA would launch six Apollo missions carrying two moon boxes each. Using gathering equipment designed at Y-12, astronauts collected pieces of the moon for study. Between 1969 and 1972, over 800 pounds of lunar material was safely brought back to Earth using Y-12's moon boxes. The success of the Apollo Lunar Sample Return Container proved the team at Y-12 had the right stuff to meet NASA's demanding specifications and liftoff of Endeavour. The Moonbox project would lead to Y-12's ongoing role in America's space program. Today, the lunar samples brought home by the Apollo astronauts continue to offer the world scientists a valuable source of discovery. The knowledge gained from this study was made possible by the team of can-do professionals at Y-12. Their spirit of invention, exploration, and pride lives on at the Y-12 National Security Complex. As humans look to the stars for our next giant leap, Y-12 will be there, providing innovation for future generations. Hope you've enjoyed viewing these images of the Apollo space program featuring Y-12's moon box. There's one on display here in the Y-12 History Center. We welcome you and your family to drop by at any time and see the other exhibits that are available here in the Y-12 History Center.